Hey everybody and welcome to another spontaneous toy review. I'm your host Scott Zillner and this is Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com and boy do I have a toy to review today. Technically there's two. We have got the Masters of the Universe origin figures, He-Man and Skeletor. I found these right on the shelf at Walmart and I bought them and I couldn't believe they were on the shelf. I was like, whoa, these things have been so crazy. They put up pre-orders, the pre-order sold out instantly. They've been online for large amounts of money. Then suddenly they're over in Germany and people are buying them and shipping them over here. They're at Walmart now. Just be patient, find them. You'll get them, you can open them up and I'm going to do that for you right now. This is a toy review where I'm going to open the package because it's damaged. You can see it's damaged. I'm keeping the good one somewhere else. I'm gonna open this one. All right, one guy was like, dude, how come you just rip open the packages? And I always like cut them open with a knife, really nice. I'm gonna try to be, I'm still nice. Like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna rip this open and I'm not doing it, you know? There is a comic book in here, yay. On the back, it's got the six figures of the wave. He-Man pops out. It's got his weapons in a little twist tie. I should have a handy knife for that. Man, those twist ties are, they're like almost indestructible. I don't know what they make those twist ties out of, but they are some type of like really difficult to do. get out stuff. Get these ties off of them. All right, now this is my first time handling a DC or uh, a Masters of the Universe origin figure, so I'm uh, I'm definitely interested on in how does he move? What's moving? Is anything going to snap out here? There is no rubber band anymore. Uh, ankles are so soft, um, but they move around quite a bit. I heard that this stuff pops off. Yeah, see? So you can switch around parts really easy. Bam, that's nice to know. Um, hands, arms. He-Man as a figure, you know, it, it, it definitely behaves differently than a classic figure. Classic figure was really just, you know, just, that's it. Arms move up, arm moves up, legs, do their best and done and done this is a lot more articulated it's certainly not classics articulation and a lot of people are like why are we going backwards and i think this is just where they're like well we want to give you the classic toy with as much modern play as possible so it was a new trick on things and realistically they've done all the classics they could do even super seven was doing retro figures again and uh, Mattel decided, hey, we should be doing that. And here we are. Uh, these are an exclusive to Walmart for now. Not forever, for now. So at certain point, that exclusivity falls off and the figures will be at Target. They'll be at other places offered uh, through things. I just realized that his, uh... oh, it does come off. Okay, I was like, it's so different, his uh, power harness, which originally was what gave him such strength, was the power harness, it wasn't the sword. They kind of wrote that in later. So there we go, let's get his weapons out. Is this tied in somehow, taped in? Arrgh. There we go. Ah. Now, first off, um, having, I grew up with Masters Universe figures forever. I've had them around forever. The sh sword is nice. It's nowhere near as thick as the old one. And it is a two-part sword. So you need the Skeletor sword to make one, one power sword. Axe is interesting. It's definitely different. Um, and everything feels different. Like you just touch these, you know they're not vintage. Um, with the shield, I'm a little... I would have liked it to be two pieces or been a little thicker. It's just a paint app on there. 
Uh, let's see how well that shield fits onto He-Man. It does uh, seem to have a, like a, you put his hand in it and then their other parts kind of clamp on. So that's on there, but for the arm having this new modern articulation, it's still a little clumsy, I think. But got that on there and his ax. In the original comics, he had his axe a lot because he was still trying to get the sword and trying to get both swords to make, you know, to, to open up the castle. Like, you needed both swords to put them in and then open up the castle. Um, sword does fit in the back very well. I like that. And I do like having He-Man with the axe. I, I like the whole real barbarian uh, feel to He-Man as a kid. The head, I'm not that, uh, I'm not that excited about. Um, he's got a weird grimace on his face. Um, there, I've seen lots of different people making different heads for this over the time. I'm just not totally sure about that head yet. Uh, it's just, I don't mind the new articulated body and the way that parts come off. That's all good. I like that. The head, not so much. I, I don't think this is a good He-Man head. Um, it's okay, but it just seems a little off to me. Just me. Let's go over to Skeletor. Skeletor. Skeletor has been one of the main big bad guys forever. He's absolutely taken his place in the hierarchy of very good bad guys. Um, Alan Oppenheimer uh, did the voice for the cartoon so much that it's in everybody's mind when you start talking Skeletor, you think Alan's voice. And in fact, if you ever got my phone number and you called me, my message is Alan as Skeletor saying I'm locked up in a dungeon somewhere. So, hey, there you go. When uh, certain people call me like, oh my God, that message is amazing. I'm like, it's really Skeletor. I'm like, no way. Then that makes them even more astonished. But I'm like, like, who can do that voice? It's it's really Alan. Comes with the same comic. Again, I thought that's kind of skimpy. You have all of these figures and you give them all the same comics. That was one of the great things about collecting the original figures was that each figure, almost each figure, sometimes some figures would share comics, had a different book and you wanted to read each of those comic books to figure out more stuff. So I think they kind of cheaped out there. They really could have given us more comics. All right, boom, he comes right out of that uh, container. Real easy. Um, again, he's got the same ties as He-Man. And I'm gonna try to get rid of those as easy as possible. Uh, his weapons are taped onto the back of Skeletor a little more so than He-Man was. And leg ties are untied. We can now free Skeletor. I do clean that all up. I just throw it up in the air to be, you know, dramatic. Uh, now, right off the bat, I like the blue of Skeletor's skin. Um, I like the purple of his accessories and his feet, and I'm, I'm, I'm digging all of his stuff. This is the open mouth Skeletor. We've always gotten a closed mouth, and I do like the ha-ha Skeletor face. You can see him yelling or screaming or laughing. It's it's good. This harness of his works like his old harness and it has the same problem as his old harness kind of staying on there. But uh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. This is uh, full wraparound boots with three toes. I would want a Keldor figure. I just like Keldor. I like the fact that Skeletor was Keldor and then became Skeletor. Um, the hood piece does not go all the way down and around his mouth, so you can get all the way up to his chin. You can see that. Heads come off. Heads come off. Really easy. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Pop. Great. I, I'm liking this. Let's get into his accessories because I need to play with these figures. Now, the, the other thing is, like, what Castle Grayskull am I going to put them with? I got several of them. Uh, I will probably put them with the Classics Castle Grayskull. And I'm just waiting patiently for my Snake Mountain. That is on its way. It is working. Some people are getting so upset about 
timelines for that and everything's been delayed everything every order everything you can think of has been delayed it's not any fault of any one thing or another snake mountain is still coming it's going to be fantastic i've seen them they are amazing so don't worry this will be a great skeletor to go with your new snake mountain if you're one of those people like me that uh, pre-ordered it uh again ram staff is always a kind of a skeletor go-to and we have the uh, female version of the Power Sword. He-Man's got the male version. And let's see if I can get the sword off now that I put it in his harness. Harness has a very interesting square lock system. And uh, there we go. He's good. He's good to go. So, the two swords of power. And then together they become By the power of grace, swords go together pretty well. Um, He-Man, would you like to wield the sword of power? Bam, fits in his hand. Has a purple side, has a silver side. It splits a little bit. I would like another sword that's just a full one. I like the fact that they give us this you know half and half sword but i still would like a full full power sword just for for you know playing around and stuff there's he-man there's the skeletor and i love the open face on skeletor i like the uh the blue the purple um the new articulation for these figures is nice it's the same as we're getting on the wwe masters of eternia figures and parts can hop swap through all these figures. You can swap parts and make all new figures. And I think that's great. Some people don't like it. Some people think it's stupid. Hey, I'll, you know, do what you want to do. But for me, every one of those He-Man of Eternia figures can be an Eternia figure and with my new line of He-Man figures. So it really expands out everything you can do and what you can do. You can make your own dudes. It's, it's awesome. These figures are very nice quality, and they're cheap. They're so cheap, they're $14.99. Why are they so cheap? Because the tooling cost is spread over two lines. The WWE figures and the He-Man Origin figures share a lot of parts. That makes them cheaper, and Walmart ordered a bunch of them, so the initial load comes out $14.99. These are cheaper than a GI Joe, and uh, right now they're a little easier to find than Joe's. So there you go. Um, Skeletor's other hand is a kind of grip. He's had several different hands over the years. Uh, I like this because it looks like he could probably hold on to something else if he wanted to. He does have his nails. Um, again, colors for stuff is great. His heart is like little accessories are a little soft compared to the old ones, but I think that's fine. Staff is great. I love the open mouth. I love the ability to pose this figure a bit more than you could with the original figures. They are superior figures to the vintage He-Man figures. Absolutely. Um, certainly some people always go, well, no, that's the best figure. You put a different head on it, you know, I think you get a better different head that He-Man's better than the original. Right now, it's, it's kind of a toss up. I don't like that head, it's okay. I like the Skeletor head a lot. I love that Skeletor head. So those are both very nice. This entire line so far is two thumbs up. I know they've been hard to find, and that's just because everyone is impatient. That's how it goes. We're, we want something now. Show it to us, we want it now! And we can't get it, well then everything sucks. Burn it all down! It's tough to get through that mentality, it really is. I hit several Walmarts for several weeks until I finally got them, so it worked. So there you go, everybody. He-Man Origins, thumbs ups. Uh, you guys wanna battle a little bit? Yeah give me back my sword him and never <laughs> I, I love him sorry and remember toy dash wizards for your daily toy news and content and remember to follow us on youtube we've got a bunch of new content just for youtube as well thank you very much for watching and until then you know just keep your eye for that snake mountain Oh, it's going to be nice.